How does this compare, and I'm just curious, from what you've seen right now, with the Joshua fight, because we saw 90,000 people there. So that's kind of sparked my interest to kind of compare it, because mm -hmm. Joshua's on the same level, at least over there, as both these guys. Um, there is a level uh, of, of interest uh, worldwide in this event that really supersedes anything I've ever seen. Mayweather Pacquiao, Joshua Klitschko, um, you know, uh, getting, you know, guys that I work with, colleagues that are overseas, and, you know, in Amsterdam, you know, they hear, you know, the, the table next to them is debating the fight, you know, and, you know, we've all have stories like this. This is one of those truly global events. It's become, you know, not to sound like a blowhard, but it's becoming a, a cultural event. It's not just a sporting event. It's one of those things that's experienced cultural. Who's winning the press conferences right now? What's the score? Is it 1-1, one, 2-0? One, Who's winning? Um, you know, it's, it's interesting. I've, I've seen scores all over the map. Uh, what, uh, <laughs> Is it funny I, that we're I, even debating this? You know, <laughs> you know what? I, I, I scored LA as a draw. Um, I had Connor by 10-9 by in Toronto. But he got a point deducted for going. <laughs> <up. Exactly. laughs> so That's we're even. actually we're even. even. Yeah, we're, even we're going, going into the third. Even. It's 1919 <laughs> going to the third press conference. <laughs> <laughs> the all access. Uh, all access. Uh, is it two episodes? Four episodes? Yeah, four episodes starting July 28th. Um, and you know, there's there's a lot of material there that that people haven't seen. Um, and, and really, you know, we could probably do, you know two-hour episodes every week uh, based on everything. I wish we had more time to process everything we're getting. They're just two fascinating characters. Is there going to be any of the crossover stuff, maybe on CBS, or is it uh, just strictly going to be the all-access and then right into the fight? Um, there will be a, a lot. We're going to combine with UFC. UFC is going to come in with Embedded. They're doing a lot of what they typically do. We'll do what, what we do and, and involve CBS Sports Network and CBSSports.com. I think this is going to be fairly inescapable by the time we get to the last week of August. Like Can you announce anything Twitter. from the it's undercard, kind of Stephen? Um, co-main or, or undercard is just Tank, uh, Tank Davis is the, the co-main. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have an opponent yet. Does Salido drop down? Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be Salido, <clears throat> um, but knowing Tank, it's going to be it's going to be a good solid fight, and I I love that position for him. I think he's one of the most uh, entertaining, most fun fighters to watch. Um, and I think it's a it's a perfect platform for it. And to kick off the pay per view, who are you guys leaning towards? Um, I know Floyd. I haven't gotten confirmation. Floyd had mentioned mm -hmm. Badu Jack uh, in moving up to 175. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there are you know there's some talk about uh, about Benavides you know going on the card as well. But I know David or Jose yeah, David. Uh, David. Mm -hmm. um, but he's going into the Durrell fight, so I'm mm -hmm. not sure where they're doing. How many fights on the pay per view? Uh, it'll be four total, including the main event. In terms of the prelims, will you do a show extreme, or how is that being? Um, you know, we're going to be leaning on Fox. This is one of the examples uh, where we're, uh, we're leaning on, on them. You know, Fox is, <coughs> is active and supportive, both MMA and boxing. And so where we've typically done a pre-show, it'll probably be on one of the Fox platforms and involve, you know, their talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, as supportive as, as they've been in, in both sports, I think it's it's a good way to keep them involved, engaged, and, and get their support for a big event. Steven, you know Floyd Mayweather on a personal level a lot better than most people. Mm -hmm. He's a very nice guy, very polite. <coughs> we haven't seen the side of him in many, many years. Did it surprise you how on point he is? Um, it did surprise me. We haven't seen this Floyd since, uh, since really since the De La Hoya promotion, when um, he was at his peak in terms of trash talking and, and, and needling Oscar. Um, I wasn't sure whether he still had it in it because for the first half of the LA he was stone faced. Um, and I think that might have been his plan to a point, but you can only take so much. And you know, he dug deep and he brought the old point out. Thank yeah. you, Steven. All right, All right Steven, thanks. Guys. Guys, thanks. Thank you.